Hello, Colas. Welcome back to Viva Barca. Welcome to the home of everything Barcelona, where we are going to be discussing on the latest updates. We start with Jules Kounde, as it has been reported that Barcelona have been informed about the physical state of the defensive target and they are saying that the club are calm over the issue. We are going to be looking at that as we progress. Then secondly, talking about out of favor midfielder Miralem Pjanic, it has been reported that the midfielder has four games to prove himself and he could be possibly a backup for Busquets next season if things go well. We are also going to be looking at that. So guys, as we get right into it, please endeavor to subscribe. Turn on the post bell notification to always stay notified whenever I post a new video. Give the video a like and make sure to watch the video right up to the very end. Barca, Barca, Barca. Having completed the signings of Rafinha, Usman Dembele and Robert Lewandowski, Barcelona are now set to focus their efforts on the capture of Sevilla defender Jules Koundé. The 23-year-old has emerged as Xavi Hernandez's top defensive target for the summer as he seeks to further to bolster his backline before next season kicks off. And recent reports have indicated that the Frenchman has also agreed personal terms with Barcelona. Why Barca are setting about their interest in Gunde, Sport reports that there have been some concerns within the camp about signing another right-footed centre-back when they could do with a left-sided central defender after Lenglet's exit. At the same time, there are also worries over Kunde's fitness and physical condition after he underwent surgery to deal with a long-standing pelvis injury last month. While the procedure was routine, there are some concerns over his situation. The report states that Barcelona believe it was one of the reasons why Chelsea decided to stop pursuing Kunde and look for alternatives. The Blagrona as a result have been in constant touch with Kunde's camp in keeping tabs on his physical state and recovery as they do not wish to make a big investment in a defender with an element of risk. However, as per the report, Barca have been assured that things are going well for Kunde. The Catalans have detailed information about the Frenchman's recovery and they believe he can return to normal exercise by August. Having been informed about the physical state and the recovery period for Kunde, Barcelona are reported it calm over the issue and are now working towards reaching an agreement with Sevilla over a transfer fee. In fact, recent reports indicated that an offer of up to 58 million euros plus variables had already been tabled, although it remains to be seen if that indeed is the case. After completing the transfer of our own top priority target in Robert Lewandowski, Jules Kunde's name has been mentioned in multiple reports these days. Of course, currently speaking, Jules Kunde is the most wanted target right now for Barca because they know we have already completed Rafinha, Dembele um, resigning a contract and of course Robert Lewandowski. So this report is talking about an issue, physical state of Kunde, saying that Kunde does not have a good history when it comes to his physical state, his fitness and even saying that that was one of the reasons why Chelsea had to abandon Kunde and go for other targets. We quite remember Chelsea were strongly linked with Kunde for a very, very long time. Not even this season, not even this summer, but even the last summer. Even though Chelsea did not succeed to acquire him last summer, but they are saying that one of the reasons Chelsea abandoned the move initially was because of his physical. They were scared of the physical state of the player. Yeah, he have been having some injury problems lately. And of course, that might bring some concerns in Barcelona as well because Barcelona will be contemplated. But according to this report, that is not even a big issue because Barca are reportedly calm about it. Barcelona are seriously following up how the, the, the player's fitness is going to be like potentially for the club. But nonetheless, Barca still prioritize him. And also given the fact that he's a right-footed defender, we know we have a lot of right footed defenders. Lenglet was one of the few left footed defenders that we had but of course he was eventually loaned out to Tottenham Hotspur so I don't think there's any issue nonetheless there's no issue I don't think there's any top class defender out there that we can say we are going for and we're confident of signing apart from Jules Koundé so with all this that won't change the fact that Barca will still go strongly for Jules Koundé's signature of course the player have already accepted personal terms with Barcelona 
and now it's just to negotiate with Sevilla over a transfer fee and of course Sevilla have been asking for a range of 60 to 65 million euros something that Barcelona don't want to pay especially given how Barca have been spending this week for Rafinha and also for Robert Lewandowski so let's see if actually it works out for Kunde, but of course I definitely believe this team will work out. Chelsea are not even too serious again. Even though they say Chelsea have returned to that um to the to, to be interested in Kunde, but of course given that they have Kalidu Kulibali in their ranks and Nathan Ake likely to join as well, Barcelona still have the upper hand for Jules Kunde signing. So interesting weeks ahead for us. Then on to the next story of discussion. Miralem Pjanic was one of the unlikely players to make the Barca squad for the pre-season tour to the United States of America. Although the former AS Roma star was lashly branded as an outcast earlier in the summer, the midfield made quite the impression during the early weeks of the pre-season training under manager Javi Hernandez. The Bosnian international showcased his proficiency on the ball and offered the intelligence to find passes and thrive in tight spaces. His interior understanding of the game coupled with his experience made him a standout future in Barca's training sessions. It eventually rewarded him with a ticket to the United States for Barca's pre-season preparations and according to a report from Sport, Pjanic will be awarded a total of just four games to prove himself before Barca make a decision on his future. Although Xavi would have ideally wanted to give the Bosnian more opportunities, his 8 million euro per season salary is becoming an obstacle. Barca cannot sustain his wage if he remains an outcast in the team, so the player must perform quickly and make his case. Xavi is certainly open to having Pjanic in the next, um, the next team next season. Knowing Barcelona do not have any reliable alternative for Sergio Busquets, the Barca coach has decided to deploy Nico Gonzalez in the number 6 role next season, but Pjanic could be an excellent alternative. However, the 32-year-old's fate at Camp Nou would depend on how he performs in the upcoming friendlies. Barcelona are slated to kickstart their US tour with a friendly against Inter Miami on July 20. Pjanic is expected to take part in the action along with the, re- the newer signings such as Frank Hissier and Andres Christensen. The Blackburner will then play three more games against Real Madrid, Juventus and New York Red Bulls and Pjanic's fate will be decided on how he fares in those four matches. These past couple of days we have been getting reports of Pjanic impressing Xavi a lot in training sessions and of course seeing how the player wants to make a case for himself. He wants to prove to the manager that he can still be counted despite being an outcast for a long time. Of course surprisingly he was included in the squad to travel to the United States for prison tour. Despite Javi omitting some of the outcasts from the squad list, Pjanic was lucky to find himself among. So let's see if actually he performs well in those friendly games but um, definitely he will be doing his best to perform so well so that the manager can be impressed and we have second thoughts for him being included in the squad for next season. So guys with that we have come to an end of this episode. Thanks a lot for watching. Until next time. Bye bye.